Hello there everyone, I'm Lilis Fox and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about how I use Animal Crossing as a balm for bad days. For days filled with stress, anxiety, and uncertainty. If you're new here, I post new videos on Animal Crossing New Horizons every week, so please consider subscribing and hitting the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video. It's currently the day after the election in the United States, and I didn't sleep much last night. So much is uncertain, nothing is going exactly as I hoped it would, and I can feel my anxiety starting to take over. In these moments when carrying my anxious thoughts becomes too much and I can't push them away, I often turn to Animal Crossing. So I thought I'd share some of my tips for using Animal Crossing New Horizons to cope. So, here are my tips for playing mindfully, for using Animal Crossing to feel better on bad days. Get comfy to play. Don't just grab your Switch and play. Make a routine of it. Brew a tea. One of my favorites is a vegan London Fog, just black tea with steamed oat milk, cinnamon, and vanilla. Get into comfortable clothes. Notice how they feel on your skin. Make a snack, ideally something nourishing like apples with cinnamon and almond butter, and settle down to play. Minimize distractions. Play with headphones if you can, or isolate yourself in a room. Take a few deep breaths before you log on. Remember that it is okay to take time for yourself. Remember that self-care can be a radical act. Set a few gentle intentions for your gameplay. Experience the weather. Whatever the weather is when you log on, notice it. Spend your first few moments in the game looking at the sky. Is it raining, foggy, cloudy, bright sun? Whatever it is, accept it and make it a point to enjoy it. If it's raining, listen to the sound of the rain hitting the ground the paths, the buildings. Notice how hard or light it's raining. Imagine what it might feel like on your skin. If it's bright sun on a cool autumn morning, remember what that feels like. Think about what that feels like. Change your clothes to fit the weather. Put on your rain boots or pull on a warm sweater and a hat. Walk around your island. Enjoy the areas that are finished and dream about the areas that still need work. Think about your vision for the space and what you want out of it. Watch the balloons fly by. Listen to the sound of them. Notice the slow change of the seasons. Do the weeds look a bit different today? Do the trees? Is the grass a bit more yellow? Are there new mushrooms for you to collect? Dig up fossils and imagine what they might feel like in your hands. Walk around with bare feet and imagine what the leaves and grass and moss might feel like on the soles of your feet. Check in with everyone. Spend time finding all of your villagers to say hello. Notice where they are, what they're doing. Notice what they're wearing. If you're spending time in their house, pan the camera around to really take a look at it. Think about who designed it and why they might have made the choices they made. When you speak to each villager, don't skip through the dialogue. Listen to them slowly. Laugh at bad jokes. Talk to them a few times. Give them a present if you have one. Watch their facial expressions, especially their smiles. Write letters. Tell your friends how you feel about them and send them a little gift. Write to your favorite villagers and tell them why you appreciate them. While you're writing, think about what you love about them. Think about your favorite moments with them. Write a note to yourself to remind yourself that things will get better, that you can do this one day at a time. Tell yourself that you are strong because you are. Fish, dive, and catch bugs. Walk around with your toes in the sand and catch fish from the ocean. Close your eyes. Try to catch them just from the sounds of them biting the bobble. 
Release fish that you already have just to watch them swim away. Pull on your wetsuit and wade into the waves. Imagine what it would feel like to be swimming in those waters, diving for creatures, just you and the wind and the sounds of the waves. Dive underwater and hold your breath. Breathe deeply when you surface again. Imagine how quiet it is below the waves. While you're walking around your islands, keep your net out and catch any bugs that wander by. Shake trees just to see what comes out of them. Spend time in the museum. Donate any new catches to the museum and spend some time there. Let blathers tell you about what you've caught. Don't skip through the dialogue. Listen and learn something. Walk through your favorite areas. Find the new fish and bugs that you've donated recently and say hello. See how they fit into the ecosystem. See if any empty displays have filled. Walk through the fossil exhibits and think about how things are constantly evolving, constantly changing. Remind yourself that this is okay. Head upstairs and stroll through the art. Listen to the tap or slaps of your feet on the tile. Sit on a bench for a little while. Notice little details in the room that you've never seen before. Casually terraform. The act of tearing down and building up cliffs, of removing and adding water, can be incredibly soothing. Focus on the sounds, on the vibration of the controller, of how what you are building is changing your island. Don't compare your terraforming to what others create. Don't bother with finding something to copy online. Just build what feels right. Build what fits your island, your space. Remember that whatever you build can be changed. You can't do it wrong, so just play with it. Listen to the music. Pay attention to the in-game music. Listen to how it changes hour by hour. Let it comfort you. Let it remind you of experiences you've had with the game. Finally, play with a friend or two. If you're feeling up to it, reach out to a friend to play together. Visit each other's islands, swimming, fishing, or just exploring. Set up little fishing or diving competitions with the timer item. Talk on voice chat if you can. Laugh with each other. Take pictures with each other. These are just a few ideas. If you have any other ideas for how to play Animal Crossing mindfully, please let me know in the comments. And if you try out any of these tips, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, as well as Let's Plays, Dream Tours, and much more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Take care, friends, and see you soon.